Today, on Be Something Wonderful, I manifested everything simply by saying so. No affirming and no state akin to sleep. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Another powerful video this morning. We're receiving more and more emails from clients and from subscribers telling their story, talking about how they manifested it, detailing their thoughts and processes if they were using processes and, and how they did it. So I want to talk again today about another powerful email that I got. And this person is saying, you know, Tom, I waited to write you because I wanted to pull my desires into, into that 3D reality first. He did, and what, and what he's saying here is that he didn't use affirming, he didn't use a state of kin to sleep, he didn't do processes. He simply announced reality. He stated it, he got into his conviction. I wanna talk about some of the things he said and I wanna pull this apart so we have a greater understanding of how he did this. Love and money, right, he was broke. He was in debt and he was dating someone for three years with no commitment, no sign that they're gonna, that they're gonna be together. I wanna talk about this because now they are together, they're living together, they're madly in love and, he, and he's got wealth is what he said. He's got money, wealth. So I wanna talk about this. Remember, processes and techniques are wonderful, but they don't create your reality, you do right? Processes and techniques are a great way to feel that, that reality within, a great way to magnify the law or the Lord or your inner state, but they don't create it, you do. Your conviction, your assumption, your knowing I am that I am, what we've talked about now is the law of assumption is, is the only reality. And this is what he said. This was at the end of the email. Now we're going to cover the entire email. It wasn't long like the one yesterday, but I want to talk about it. He said, and by the way, BTYW, I manifested everything by simply saying so. He said that. Those were not my words. I've used those words before, right? No scripting. He said, no scripting. Notice state, no state akin to sleep. It, it should be state akin to sleep, not stats, but sats, state akin to sleep, and no affirmations right? Just a powerful desire and passion to understand the law. This is what he said, to understand law of assumption and become an expert. To understand law of assumption, becoming an expert. He had that strong passion and desire. Remember, desire and passion is the nature of your source. It's the nature of God. It's to know and feel yourself as source. For source to know itself experientially, right, in this horizontal reality in this linear reality. It's to know itself experientially. That's why we're having this 3D experience. That's why we're having this horizontal experience. So I wanna hit this. This is what he said. In a nutshell, I was broke, I didn't have a job, and my SP wanted to just be friends after about three years of dating. These are the conditions, not looking good. Right, in fact, he went into a lot of debt. I wanna talk about this. I, uh, his boss left a, a, a book on his table, it was The Secret. And so, and so when he tells the story, he goes, my story's a little crazy. Two years ago, so he's writing the email, I received this email yesterday. Two years ago, my boss put the book, The Secret, in my hand. I quit both of my jobs and decided to become a lottery millionaire. Right, now you can see that, that it's not coming from this inner conviction, it's coming from this fleeting confidence that, oh, then, then I, can, I can use vibration, I can, I can manipulate reality and become a millionaire. I took the phrase, you have to pretend you already are, very literally. We'll talk about pretending and faking it until you make it. Remember, you've already made it, so you're not faking it. But, so I took a loan, loan after loan out so that I could afford and finance my life as a millionaire. Okay, a little crazy here. He says it's a little crazy, right? But that's sometimes things we do. Outward, he was focused outward in, in, in the conditions, right? Trying to make it look like he was that millionaire. Do you see it? It wasn't an inner conviction. It wasn't a change of consciousness. It wasn't him identifying as a millionaire. In hopes that he was doing these things, in hopes that he would, right? It was an outward th 3D linear focus on conditions. So hear this. 
Remember, what does is, what is Scripture say? Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he also reaps. But he will also reap. Remember, you can't pretend or fake whom or what you're conscious of being. That's what that really means. Who and what you're conscious of being is what you'll live, what you'll see in your world. It will be your entire life experience. That's what it's saying, right? I am is not full. This is what Neville Goddard says. Every conception that you have of yourself that is very, that is very deep conviction you have of yourself is that which you shall appear as being, right? That is very deep conviction. He goes, oh yeah, that's what he's saying. He goes, that is every deep conviction. So I'm not full. I am, your I am, who you truly are, is not fooled. Every conception that you have of yourself, that is, he's saying that is, every deep conviction that you have of yourself, you, you have of yourself is that which you shall uh, appear as being. God is not mocked. So, so every deep conviction, he's not fooled. That I am is not fooled. Every conception that you have of yourself, that is every deep conviction you have of yourself, is that which you shall appear is that which you shall appear as being. You will appear as that. So Neville's clear here. And then uh, in A Course in Miracles, it says, God is not mocked, is not a warning, but a reassurance. God would be mocked if any of his creations lacked holiness. In other words, wholeness, that wholeness, the, the, that completion, that fulfillment that my client, that, that subscriber was pointing to yesterday. His, if any of his creations lacked holiness, the creation is whole and the mark of wholeness is holiness. Miracles are affirmations of sonship, which is, not a state of com which, is, which is a state of completion and abundance. You're already there. You're already whole. God would be mocked if you lacked anything. God would be mocked if you couldn't be, do, or have anything your heart desires, if fulfillment wasn't already, already within you, that if everything you desired wasn't already yours, then God would be mocked. It's reassurance that God is not mocked, that you are the Son of God, that you were made in God's image, that that conviction, that I am within you is already complete, right? So you were made in God's image, and God makes no mistakes. God doesn't when you say you can't manifest something, you can't have the life of your dreams, you're, you're, assuming, you're, you're implying that God's imperfect, that God can make mistakes. God made you in his image. You were made in, in God's image, in that image of all that is, in that image of that divinity, that power, that source. And source makes no mistakes. You were made, so you have all power, not some power going through you. You have all power going through you. Wherever God is at all, the whole of God must be wherever God is. And God can't be divided. That unity can't be divided and split up and, and, and this illusion of lack created. It's impossible. All power, all knowing, all time is you. Omnipresent. Any, only unity and fulfillment exists, period. That's what omnipresence means. This client got it. So, that, so I want to continue with this. He goes, I was manifesting out of fear. In other words, separation, lack, unholiness. Do you see it? Not whole, not complete, not one with God, right? Out of fear, right? God would be mocked if, 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 we, if we actually had the fear lack, right? If we actually had that. And then he said, more insecurities were building up inside me. So you see, he was taking those loans, but he wasn't consciousness of being that, right? So got into a lot of debt. Didn't, his girlfriend wanted to just be friends. He goes, then I found, I found your videos. This was last year, he said. Last year, a little over a year into my journey. So two years ago, he, start, he says he started his journey where he quit his jobs, right? And had that book, The Secret. Then a year ago, a year into that journey, what's he, what he's calling the journey, is, is I, I, he, was watching the, he started watching the videos regularly. He goes, day by day, I began to understand what you were teaching. These are his words, right? It's been about a month now that I've finally understood and know that I'm one with God and that everything can come through me. Hear his wording. Yeah, because we're going to get back to this. One with God and everything can come through me, through my I am, through the door, through the way, through the life of who he is, right? Uh, so, 
and so it was just in the last month, although it was, it was clearly building within him, this knowing. Remember, the knowing's already there. And then it clicks, right? That, this is really what happens. It's been about a month now that I've finally understood and know that I'm one with God and then everything can come through. So what he was saying in his email is that he, he manifested all this stuff. The wealth that he wanted, the, his girlfriend living together with his girlfriend, the love of his life, everything going well in a month. But of course, he'd been working on it a year before that as he, as he was getting to know the process, getting to know the teachings. So again, I'm using his words, only he knows, right? This is what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the door, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Do you see it? His wording here is powerful. I am one with God and that everything can come through me. That's scripture there. Consciousness is the Father that is drawing the manifestations of your life onto you. Neville got it. I am that I am. No man comes unto me save the Father within me draws him and I and the Father are one. This one quote from Neville is what my client was saying. Right? One with God and that it all comes through me. In other words, no man comes on to me, no manifestation, no wealth, not, not him being in love with the, the love of his life and living together. None of that comes to me save the Father, that consciousness, having the consciousness of being that, having the conviction and assumption of already being that within me draws him and I and the Father are one and you're one with that consciousness. You're one with whatever you're stating, with whatever you're stating as, that is so, or that's your conviction. No, and this is what uh, Neil Donald Walsh in, in Conversations with God says, no prayer, and a prayer is nothing more than a, a fervent statement of what is so goes unanswered. Now hear this, I, I shared with you, he said simply saying, the title of this video is what, his words. Right? I manifested everything by simply saying so. That was his prayer, his conviction, nothing. It's not that, and that Neil Donald Walsh through God says, or God through Neil Donald Walsh says it. No prayer, and a prayer is nothing more than a fervent statement of what is so goes unanswered. You announce reality. God announces reality. God claims reality. God declares reality. God assumes it, and so it is. So it is, and it is so. So it is. Like my client, or not, the, not client, but subscriber, said in her email yesterday, that big video we unpacked. She goes, and it is so. And he's saying, he's using the same wording here. As, as has been stated. Wow, this is powerful. Here, this is big. Because he says this here, I made up my mind. This is an expression we use in 3D linear reality all the time. But what's he really saying? Right mind, righteousness, the righteousness of God, understanding that it all comes through him as him. To, to write you as soon as I pulled my desires into 3D and today is the day. Pull, think of the wording he's using. Pulling my desires in 3D. It gives you that idea that of this vertical reality that you are. You are this vertical reality. And, this is, and you're having this linear 3D horizontal experience where you pull your desires from the Father, from the kingdom, into your reality, into that horizontal experience. I love his wording. It's perfect for what we've all been talking about. The 3D, remember, this is the 3D linear horizontal experience. And there are many possibilities. All possibilities exist. Look at all the horizontal experiences you can have. This is your current experience. So he, might, he was on one of these other lifelines, one of these other horizontal uh, realities, one of these other film worlds. As he pulled, as he made up his mind and he pulled his desires into 3D from that vertical. Remember, all desires are of God. All desires are already within you. That's why you're going to pull them from that vertical ex reality, from that greater father within you. Wow. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. All of it was added. The wealth, the girl, the apartment, the happiness, the, 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 the joy, right? The completion, the unity. No one else can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. I will raise him up the last day. This is in John 6.44. I want to read this because this is what my client is saying here. No one can come to me, here I am, unless the Father, that greater consciousness, the kingdom, that vertical, 
right? Who sent me draws him and I will raise him up the last day. In other words, unless you have that state of consciousness that draws those things, that pulls those desires into your 3D reality, right? And what does the last day mean here in John 6:44? It means the last degree of understanding. I will, I will raise him up on the last day. I will resurrect in the, I will resurrect and resurrect or rise in consciousness, resurrect that new reality, resurrect my desires into 3D reality. I will resurrect and occupy that new state, that new reality, right? Resurrect that new identity, that new version of myself, right? I will resurrect and become that. But at, at, on that last day, on that last degree, when it clicks, when I get it, what he said, right? I, what, we, we, I think he said it here. <laughs> Where did he say it? Um, somewhere here. I just want to say this. Yeah. And he goes, day by day, I begin it. He goes, it's been about a month now that I've finally understood and know I am one with God and everything came, can come through me. In other words, on that, I will raise him up on the last day to that last degree of understanding. Right? As it clicks. Wow, that's powerful. Look at that, guys, today. That is powerful. So I love this. And then he says, today is the day. When he wrote me, today, I love it, the last day. I, uh, the last day, he reached the final degree of understanding. I love it. Right? I finally understood and know, I finally understood and know that I am one with God and that everything can come through me. Today is the day, the last day. I will, res I will in, in John 6, 44, I will raise him up at the, la at the last day, on the last day. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, unless I draw those desires into my, uh, into my horizontal experience from the vertical nature of my true nature, from my I am. Wow. I've finally understood and know that no one, no, I am one with God and that everything can come through me. He entered into the full consciousness and conviction of his oneness and unity with God, his vertical life, right? In other words, with his where his desires were as well, right? Unless the Father who sent me draws him, I will raise him up in the last day. Wow, I, I, I have manifested wealth into my life and my SP, and I'm living incre incredibly in love in our own apartment. Do you see it? He's there. He had did all of this. Right here, it's all, but it was all written. The script was written. Here it is, guys. He finally understood. It all came through him. Now he's living the life of his dream. He, he had all this debt. Now he's in wealth. Now he's with his SP. And here's what he says. These are his words. I didn't work a single day since I quit both of my jobs two years ago. I have been able to support my family financially, but most of all, I'm happy. That's the true, the true manifestation is living in that vertical, understanding that you are vertical. You, you have a, you're living a vertical reality. You're living that wholeness and unity and fulfillment, right? Because even without these things, he says, I realize that I'm perfect and complete. Even if those things aren't added on to him, he knows he has the kingdom. He, he said that God lacks nothing. And so I can never feel lack. Powerful statement. And, he, and by the way, I manifested everything simply by saying so. No scripting, no, <laughs> I, I wrote down his exact words, but I think he meant state akin to sleep, not stats, but sats. No sats, no affirmations. I manifested everything simply by saying so, simply by occupying that consciousness, simply by standing in that assumption, in that conviction. No state akin to sleep, no affirming, no scripting. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is to be something wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on the videos. Thank you for joining our Facebook group, uh, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful. Thank you for visiting us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Thank you for joining our membership channel that has additional content and live streams in a live stream this weekend, Sunday, May 21st, 2023, live with me here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada with our, with our live stream. I'm gonna be answering some of your questions that you have sent 
to info at besomethingwonderful.com. So if you still have questions, send them to info at besomethingwonderful.com. If I don't get to them in the, in the live stream, we certainly will get to them in videos and other content on the channel, on both channels. With great love, with great light, and in infinite gratitude, creators and members, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful. We'll see you soon.